Hey everyone, Jason here. Earlier this year, I posted some modifications to the Dragon Dance set to smooth out the motion. And since then, I have been experimenting with the mechanism a little bit more. But instead of continuing to modify that set, I thought I would just build my own dragon. And if you're a fan of the never ending story, you might recognize Falcor, the luck dragon from that movie. I've also included some imagery from the movie into the model, including the ivory tower, the southern oracle, and the black section on the stand represents the nothing, which is the evil force that is overtaking the world. And on top, I also have a representation of the intertwined snakes, which appear on the cover of the book. For the mechanism itself, I have made a few pretty significant modifications. I increased the size of the cam so that there's more vertical travel. I was also able to decrease the offset between cams, which results in an even smoother motion than in my Dragon Dance modification. And you will also notice that each body segment tilts as it travels, so that it is oriented at a tangent to the curve that is traveling through the body. So what is going on here? We'll start by taking a look at the body segments. And each segment is mounted on a Technic connector, which allows it to tilt on the axle supporting it. Each segment also has a slot in the front and a little tab sticking out of the back so that that tab fits into the slot of the body segment behind it, resting on its Technic connector. As a result, the segment will tilt to be at an angle of the line joining the top of its support to the top of the support behind it. And for the last segment, the tail just rests on the last support. I ended up completely redesigning the camshaft, and for cams, I'm using these pulley wheels for two reasons. One is that they just make for larger cams, which is why the supports now travel through two full studs vertically instead of one. And the other is that they have six holes evenly spaced around the center axle hole. So if we connect a short lift arm to an axle with a pin in it, and then we mount one of these pulleys as a cam with the drive axle running through a hole on the edge. We can actually mount it in one of three different orientations with the pin running through the center hole, the adjacent hole to the left, or the adjacent hole to the right. So relative to the orientation of the lift arm, we can mount it at zero degrees, minus 60 degrees, or plus 60 degrees. And of course, we can connect that lift arm to the axle in one of four orientations at zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180, and 270 degrees. And when we put all of the possible positions together, we can actually get 12 different orientations of the cam in 30 degree increments, which is quite a bit smaller than the 45 degree offsets I had in my original Dragon Dance modification and results in an even smoother wave motion. And since I'm using the same number of supports and the same distance between them as in the Dragon Dance set, you can actually mount that dragon on it as well though you may want to redecorate the base more appropriately. If you'd like to build your own copy of this model, I have put together building instructions for it, which you can find over at jkbrickworks.com. As always, I hope you enjoyed the model and the video. Thanks for watching, keep on building, and I'll see you next time.